Trigger Monster, Trigger Monster, Trigger Monster. Oh man, I've been wanting to react to this for a few days now. I mean, I've been reacting to what's behind the song Johnny Cash and, you know, basically a lot of Upchurch's stuff, you know. I mean, I have to keep up with Upchurch's things, you know what I'm saying, but... I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself if y'all are new here. My name is Peyton, and welcome to Peyton Reactions. And if you like Republicans, Donald Trump, and just everything American, please give me a subscribe and give me a follow if y'all want to. If y'all don't want to, hey, that's fine with me. You can take your uh, drama somewhere else. But without further ado, let's watch Trigger Monster. But damn it, I can't help I love rolling stone When the winners roll down and the radio The world just can't handle me, bro Hey, hey bro, no, how you can't. been talking shit on Facebook, man? Heard you been talking shit on Facebook, man? You got a problem with that? Hey, I'm talking to you, bro You got a problem with that, man? Hey, I'm talking to you, nigga, you got a problem You got be I told you, I told you don't fuck with me, man I got like eight mixtapes out right now Well, guys, I have come up with a conclusion on why people don't fucking like me because i don't kiss nobody's ass now no you don't and number two you're the goat that's all i gotta say before we start this video and i make someone fucking shed some cyber tears down below water emoji water emoji cry face hashtag you're a terrible person hashtag fuck maga this video might trigger someone if it does i will be extremely happy yes sir <laughs> listen in all honesty i don't give a fuck what you do in your own time i don't care if you're gay i don't care if you're bisexual i don't give a shit if you're a lesbian i don't care what you are it doesn't affect me what is it no same thing he just said i don't care if you're gay bisexual lesbian even transgender or transvestite don't give a shit about you. I don't give a shit. The point is, when people push and push and push and push for you to accept it. Bite me. Now, bite me. I hope you enjoy watching these cringy ass, fucking weird, edgy, pushy, fucking angry people. <laughs> Just because I may present more femme doesn't mean that I'm any less they them. Just because I present as white doesn't make me any less Mexican black guy communist Hitler. <laughs> what? Oh, hell. Turn this you up. know what that thing where you're eating a meal but you're not really- Hold it! Hold, stop it! <laughs> okay, your forehead looks like Bob Ross painted a wave of piss on it. Do you realize that, Arnold? Oh, <laughs> you laugh, you lose. Yeah, Damn I'm a fan of PewDiePie. Shut up! My family and I were doing that one night, and I just kind of looked at them and said, Hey guys, I'm non-binary. <laughs> I don't have a gender. You don't have a gender. What? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> If I told my dad and my mom I don't have a gender, my dad would kick my ass and kick me out of the house. That's how serious it is. <laughs> what Damn. the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I just, I love how these types of people just sit there and say it so casually, like we're fucking stupid that we think they do have a gender. They're like, <laughs> I mean, I'm not binary, so I mean, that means I don't have a gender. I'm dumb. In my opinion, gender is a universe. It is a broad spectrum of planets and stars. What kind of fucking drugs is this bitch smoking? Yeah. Planets and stars. It's not an opinion. You can't have an opinion on whether you have a dick or not. It's just there. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. And that's a non-negotiable. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. That's non-negotiable. What the fuck? What, what, what do you think this is to you? This is not fucking the war against the United States and North Korea, bitch. You're asking me to call you a guy and refer to you a guy and not a girl, even though I don't know you. And if I seen you out in public, I would call you a girl. Yeah, sure, a really ugly girl from the 70s who does shitty ass yoga, but still a girl. Yeah. You you don't look enough like a man or talk like a man or appear as a man. So if I didn't know you, I'd be like, yo, what up, bitch? How you doing? I mean, dude, I don't know you. What are you going to do? Get back over here and use the right pronouns. 
I'm gonna be like, fuck you, bitch, eat a dick, or like a pussy, whatever one you like to do. Okay. <laughs> I think one of the main reasons pronouns are so important is because is because books nouns adjectives adverbs yeah. verbs yeah. pronouns yeah. books yeah. only books <laughs> we gotta read people and if you don't fucking read you don't need pronouns and you ever seen school of rock dude yep or wait Whatever the thing is, it says, knowledge is power. Other than our name, it's one of the main ways that people identify and call us. Or, you know, your muscle tone or your body type or the way you sound, uh, the way you talk, um, you know, any of those things as well. My pronouns are personally... Oh, I know, stop it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, hear me out. This dude looks like a white guy's dick. They got stuck in his zipper. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, it looks like a. It looks like a white man's dick with a beanie on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that. It, it did get stuck in the zipper, man. But that looks like a white man's dick at the beanie on, dude. Pale, white, pale ass. <laughs> All right, so I just rewinded this clip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it sounded just like somebody shit their pants with diarrhea. Um, growing up, you know, enculturated into kind of a system that really subscribes to toxic masculinity. You know, back to being serious hold and on, getting- Hold on, hold on. Did y'all see that guy's fucking earring? That was a necklace. What the fuck was that shit? <laughs> serious and not making you know shit noises with my throat this dude said he was born into a society of toxic masculinity what so what are, you, what are they trying to say do they want everyone to be the same because that's not how it works i mean what do they what do they want they want everybody to be fucking sissy man that's not that's never gonna happen whatever you want to be and however you want to act go ahead fairy princess no one gives a shit but my thing is don't fucking hate on the alpha male type people because, you know, girls like that kind of shit. You know, girls, girls who yeah. like dick. I was always uncomfortable with hold being on, called hold dude. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see that fucking earring right there? Look how big that fucking earring is. That's like the size of a necklace, dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, where's the other one? Did he miss the other one? Holy fuck. You know, what's up, man? Oh, yeah, he's totally weirded out by being called dude and By the way, you did not see normal guys like that wear that long earrings. He should be running that around his neck. It's called a necklace, motherfuckers. And, and it puts him in such an uncomfortable situation. Oh, but, you know, <laughs> fuck it. I'll make everyone look at me in public with this big fucking gold clothespin in my Thank fucking you. ear. Um, I was so bad at dapping people up, like, is. you know, how, like, guys, like, do that whole, like... What, a modern handshake where you reach out and grab the guy's hand and then let go? Yeah, nice to meet you. How do these people <laughs> fucking drive? I was so bad at that, and it just, like, I felt very alienated every time someone would do that to me. This guy feels alienated when people try to shake his hand. If there's a draft... Make him wash the fucking dishes. So when someone identifies with a pronoun, they're essentially taking their little piece of that broad universe and identifying with that. Oh, wait, hold on, time out. I can identify from something from the universe? Well, good. Let me just grab the sun real quick, because I'm feeling hot as shit. <laughs> And so in using their correct Man. pronouns, we're validating that, yes, you are right in your identity. I identify as Batman, and I'm going to get you, Penguin. Coming into terms with my gender <laughs> queer identity has been one of the most challenging but also rewarding things that I've done. Yeah, probably the biggest waste of time, too, since no one else gives a shit but you. Laverne Cox <laughs> kind of famously said, misgendering a trans person is an act of violence. No, that's not an act of violence. An act of violence is me cracking you over the head with a crowbar yep. and stealing your Velcro chain wallet. Yep. And it is. It's an act of psychological violence. Oh, my God! Act of psychological 
whatever the fuck you said is you making me think too much, okay? That's what a fucking psychological act of violence is. Yeah. Stop trying to fucking trick me with your witchcraft and wizardry, bitch. It's a denial of somebody's personhood and a complete refusal to acknowledge their identity, whether intentional or not. Well, I mean, based off y'all's logic, you can fucking identify as a cypress tree, a fucking Jack Daniels bottle, a dirty-ass toothbrush, a fucking zebra, a computer. So when I walk up to you, and what if you identify as a fucking used Q-tip? If I don't fucking call you used Q-tip Shirley, and you punch me in the fucking face, how is it my fault? Just walking into a restaurant and hearing someone say she, like, will happen within two seconds of me entering. Well, of course it will, Grimace. Yeah. You have purple pink hair. You have earrings. You have really sharp girly eyebrows. Yeah. You have some lip gloss on, it seems like. Mm. And you seem to be talking like a girl. So, yeah. I'm gonna call you a girl! Which doesn't happen about any of my other identities. There With any of her other identities, she has more... How many more identities does this bitch have? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so can this identity walk over here and fucking kill somebody? <laughs> and then, you know, walk over on this side of the street. And when the cops show up to arrest her, she'll be like, oh, no, sorry. Nope, not this identity. The person who killed that guy was my other identity. So you can't blame me, racist. Someone will yeah, make assumptions really. about gender, which translate into pronouns which mean that i will hear over and over again people saying something about my identity which is false because people can't walk around me when i'm on the sidewalk because their shoes are like made of rubber and the more people that walk by the more rubber that falls off their shoes onto the sidewalk and i'm like have a really bad rubber allergy so if, if that happens then I, I just gotta leave and i gotta go to somewhere that's made of 100 percent cotton go ahead say whatever you want they both make the same amount of no sense at all. Yeah. I think a lot of people associate expression with identity. Well, I mean, yeah, I like titties. I like smacking girls on the ass. Yeah. What do you think I like? And sometimes that's not the hold case. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I changed my mind now. That's actually Kim Jong-un when he let himself go. When he gets in a diet, you know I mean? Look at that fat fuck now. He's just, he's just, mm, he's, he's let go of himself. But if he really let go of himself, he looked like that. A dickhead with a beanie and a long ass necklace for an earring. Like, pfft. by the way, I hope we kill him, by the way. I hope he lets himself go and I hope we kill him. So, if you're offended by that, door's right there. You know, oftentimes I'm in situations where I'm not the most safe, um, being able to express uh, I'm not the most safe in being able to express myself Bruh Get the fuck out of here My gender identity and in those cases even in those instances where I'm wearing basketball shorts or sneakers um, You can't take my gender identity away from me because that's mine and not yours Well technically I can't take it from you because it's not a physical object that I could just jerk out of your fucking hands but Whatever helps you sleep at night in your safe space with your fucking Princess Elsa palette. So many different options for who you are and how to define that. When I talk to you, I'm going to move my mouth in this really weird way that's supposed to make me look some sort of intellectual when really I'm not. Yeah. I'm just spouting a bunch of dumb yeah. shit all over YouTube <laughs> because BuzzFeed paid me $300 to do this for 30 minutes. So when someone chooses a personal pronoun that they oh, identify shit. with, Using that pronoun is a form of respect and a form of validation. Well, you can validate these nuts and I don't fucking respect you because you literally are going against God and what God has given you here on this earth. So fuck you, suck a dick. Personally, when I get misgendered, by strangers it's one thing, but it's especially painful when it's people who are close to you. So when my parents misgender me, it's a knife in my heart. It's like a dagger in my heart. Cool, whatever. Go write a song with Alienette Farm about it. I really don't give a shit. But I'm pretty sure your parents are not going to misgender you. Yeah. Listen, if you want to date other girls, do it. It's called a lesbian, bro. Yeah. Lesbians are cool. But I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not. Yeah. But anyways, I'm not going to call you a guy because you're not a guy. No, he's she's not a guy. She's a... She's, let me guess. Let me, let me, let me get this... 
Let me get this right. Okay. She's a spoiled ass bitch who's grateful to live in this country like this one and disrespect, number one, the people of this country, and number two, res disrespect the President of the United States. Fucking hell, man, but that's gonna wrap it up. Thank y'all for watching this, if y'all did. I don't freaking care. Like, comment if you're new, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.